Hello, day five after L5 S1 lumbar fusion. Uh, let me get you up to date. Let's see. Um, I had uh, I had a home health care nurse come and visit. Uh, I'm very very fortunate. I've got some really good uh, insurance, so it's it's. I had a nurse come out, and the main reason was to. Uh, check the incisions to make sure that there's no um, no infection. So the incisions look great. Um, it's just a lot of bruising because uh, the method that my doctor does, he goes down by the left side of the groin and that's where he enters to go out, up to clean out the uh, L5-S1 and to put the spacer in and pack, uh, pack the, the bone um, powder in there. So... Um, the incisions look great, just some bruising, a little bit of draining, not that much. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the pre previous videos, but uh, a couple nights ago I decided I was going to sleep on my side, and that was a big mistake. Man, I woke up in serious pain, serious pain. So i um, been resting on my back because I'm not sleeping on my back much. I don't, uh, I sleep, sleep in the fetal position, so... Um, I'm just resting on my back and feel it feels different. Um, yesterday afternoon was probably the hardest so far. Um, and it, it goes in, in concert with everybody, what they've said about uh, the timeline. It's like, you know, the three to four to five days right after the uh, surgery um, is, is when like all the painkillers and, and the anesthesia and the morphine or the synthetic morphine called Dilaudid. It all like leaves the system and, and, and all of a sudden the real pain comes on. So yesterday I hadn't really eaten um, during the day because I had an upset stomach and I wasn't feeling good. Um, yeah, so last night, you know, in the evening, not night night, but in the evening, man, was the worst. And it was basically because I'm coming down from all the stuff that they had me doped up on and... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm hurting right now, but uh, just to get you updated, make this kind of a quick deal. Um, had the nurse come out, the incisions look good. Um, I've got, uh, you know, my phone right here. I've got uh, um, like a, uh, a, it's called Run Keeper, and it's an app that uh, shows me how far I can walk, and it's got the GPS on it. So yesterday I did uh, what, a tenth of a mile four times. Um, today I'm at, uh, 0 0.12 of a mile, um, and I've done that a, a couple times so far. In fact, I'm icing right now. Um, and then I'll try and do that a couple more times today. Um, and just staying active, uh, making sure that, uh, I don't get any blood clots. That's a big thing. I don't want any blood clots, so I'm walking. You know, I still have some sciatic pain, but they say, uh, you know, 6 to 12 weeks it should be gone. Um... I'm hurting, no two ways about it. Uh, but, you know, it's a means to an end. I'm on the other side of uh, surgery. And the big thing was, before surgery, I couldn't go for a walk because it would just be brutal. Now, there's like a light at the end of the tunnel so where I can go for a walk. And it's it's a good thing that I'm going for a walk. Um, I've got some help with uh, from my brothers who are here helping out that's really, really, really helpful. It's good encouragement. Uh, and let's see what else. So today um, I was able to have some bacon and eggs and then I had a, a ham and cheese sandwich and um, um, I threw uh, some uh, some potatoes gratin or gratin. Um, I, I made a big batch and vacuum sealed it and threw it in the freezer. So I have um, some going in the oven right now. I'm going to eat that um, and I'm just going to try and consume as much calories as possible. Um, been drinking milk, trying to stay hydrated. As for pain pills, I'm on that uh, hydrocodone 10, 325s. Um, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm at about six, every six hours. So at 6 p.m. at midnight, and then 6 a.m., and then at noon. But the other day when I slept on my side, I was in unbearable pain. So I ended up, uh, I ended up uh, taking them like, man, every couple hours I was hurt. So no sleeping on my side, sleeping on my back, and what a difference it makes. Um, when they say no bending, lifting, twisting, man, I was brushing my daughter's hair today because 
explain how to do it and it's really thick hair and I twist it a little bit and I'm uh, the pain is kind of bad because of that so man what they say no bending lifting twisting the other thing is I was able to take a shower oh what a big difference that makes um, the shower helps um, and then we got the uh, the bandages back on the sutures and they look good and then the uh, the other thing are the bowel movements. Man, the bowel movements are better than sex right now. And I'm not going to have sex for a long time. But nonetheless, um, the bowel movements are really good. And uh, I take some of that stool softener, um, and that helps out. But that's where I am. I'm just uh, giving you a little update, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. And I'll tell you this, uh, it's really, really helped all the video um, journals that people do about this stuff really help me out. Um, on what to expect because when I go on the internet and start reading stuff, oh man, it's awful. Absolutely awful. People just writing really bad negative things and it's really disheartening. So the video journals really helped me out and I've actually made contact with a few people um, in the video journals and I kind of become their friends through the internet. So we exchange uh, information and that's really good. So I don't want to make this a long-winded deal, so I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow and uh, kind of tell you where I am. Thanks a lot. Wish me luck, guys.